Hello, welcome to part 100 of this Ruby on Rails Airbnb clone series. So in last video, we did the deployment part of the project. So we deployed uh, our project on render. Now in this one, uh, we'll work with the Google Maps. So basically we know that Google Maps API key is not working for us. So what I will do is I'll go to on my project on render, I'll go to environment. Okay. And in that, we can set our environment file here, add from .env file. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll go to my environment file here in my project, copy this key name, add it here, copy this and actually not paste this actually. This is the test one that we were using earlier. I'll go to maps. Nope, not maps. Google cloud. And in that we'll go through our project and find the API key. I'll just pause so that my API key doesn't get exposed now. Otherwise I'll have to delete the project and all. Uh, let me actually go there and see. Or maybe I'll get rid of the project itself. Credentials show key and copy. So I'll paste this key here. Along with that, I'll have to make change in our code also. Save this. Uh, the change that I will have to make is basically I will have to use this wherever I am using Google Maps. So I'm using Google Maps at two places. One is Where is it? Controller, no. Views. Layouts, no. Owner. Properties. Edit. So one is this one. Yes. This one I will have to change. I will have to change this to a Ruby code. Which is ENV. We have used it somewhere else, right? Equals to this. We will cross check this actually. I'll copy this again and go to search, paste this. Okay. So this should work, uh, but I'll have to deploy this. Get status get add get commit dash m google maps deployment get push or each get. so that these this code gets updated and now we can see an event log whether this particular commit is getting fetched uh, 1290, 29, 1229. This is the commit logs. What I'll do is I'll go to air GitHub. I'll go to my Airbnb project and in that I'll see what the latest commit is. And the latest commit is 43BC563. 43BC563. So I'll simply do one thing. I'm not sure if it is required or not, but I'll do this still. 43BC563, 43BC5. Yeah, so it has the latest commit. Now I'll pause this video because it will take some time building that in progress and finally it will be live. So we'll wait till it gets live and then we'll see. Okay, so it took around 10 minutes to build uh, and went live. And after that, I just refresh this page and you can see that it is working. Obviously it is in development right now, but it is working for us. Uh, so now you have to maybe do payment and get this API working fully. At the same time, you will have to do something similar with Stripe also. So in Stripe, I won't do that in this video. Actually not in this video, I won't do this at all just because it will require adding payment details and all those kind of things. But I can quickly show it to you how you can do this. 
okay so you can go to activate account it will ask you various details enter those details and once those details are entered you get the let me leave this let me leave this leave 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 yeah you'll get the various uh, keys that you need so what you can do is similar to what we did here i'll go to stripe publishable key which is just a dummy key test key you can paste it here done stripe secret key add secret this copy paste it here and similarly you can add various other keys also so that's how you create your uh, set up your environment variables here and uh, yeah that's it so do share your feedback about this uh, i have a google form also which i'll uh, mention it uh, in a document uh, in the description so if you have view viewed this airbnb series uh, fully it has been like 100 videos now uh, so do share your uh, feedback it's really important to me uh, yeah that's it and uh, not sure when the, when the next video will come but we'll see and what that video will be about but we'll see thank you bye bye